had another mental breakdown. And yes, it's been a while since I posted a video. And yes, I'm gonna ignore it and talk about something else. Everything's fine, let's go. So I quit my job. I had a pretty fancy job working at a I worked in education. About a month ago, I was at my desk and I looked around and I said, why am I doing this again? And I walked right out then and there. Okay, not quite, but basically, I was working from home because I did that and I was just looking around and not doing any work. And I was like, I have to sit at my computer all day. This isn't right. This isn't living. This is, this is capitalism. This is exploitation. I refuse. So I quit and now I'm self-employed, sitting at my computer all day. So it went really well. Since I quit, I've been making what I can only describe as dinosaur merch. Plushies, stickers, you get the gist. Dinosaurs are one of those things that are almost like a fandom, but not quite. I bet dinosaur fanfiction exists. Anyway, the dinosaur merch is going good, but since I quit, I've noticed some extra ADHD things that make me want to throw my brain into the sun, and I want to talk about them. Number one, my phone. I lose my phone 20 times a day. Now, okay, this isn't a new thing. I left my phone in the bathroom at work once, and my manager came back into my, like, office and handed it back to me, which was mortifying because my ID and my only bank card was in there. But my house is tiny. I thought when I quit I couldn't lose my phone in my two-foot house, but no, I do. I check the fridge first at this point. It's always in the fridge, a cupboard, or somewhere you've never put it in the history of human existence. Always one of those three. Number two, I am messy. I am so messy. But not deliberately. In my head, I'm a neat freak. But then I look at my desk and I'm like, huh, this person's a slob. And the person is me. It's not dirty, it's just messy, like piles of paper. I have a designated corner of my desk at this point that's always messy because if I don't respect that border, it's like some kind of war breaks out. My pens are in my laptop's territory and somehow my wallet has invaded the southeast corner and I come back to carnage. So yeah, messy. Number three. My brain would rather stare into nothingness than do anything remotely productive. Now, I remember this one vaguely from school. I studied for all my exams in the shower because I had to be doing two things at once. I was watching chemistry equation breakdown videos in the shower and memorizing them. It was bad. And now my brain just lies to me. It's like, we're doing something productive. We're checking emails. And I'm like, yes, I know that, but you checked it two minutes ago and there's still nothing there. So stop refreshing the freaking tab. That's not even scripted, I just had to let that one out. <laughs> Inwardly, that's what's happening, but from the outside, I just look like this, so no one understands my struggle. There's definitely more than that, but I'm still working out this animation thing, so we might have to leave it there for now. Thanks for watching, or listening, I'm just recording right now, so it kind of feels like I'm running a podcast or something. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see me get better at these, and remember, never leave your phone in a bathroom at work for your manager to find. But if you do, make sure you leave your ID in it so they know exactly who to name and shame in front of everybody else. Okay, bye.